Welcome everyone, today we play an interactive Dungeons and Dragons adventure where you, the viewer, can decide what our heroes do. The first few viewers to scroll down and add an idea in the video comments section will change the course of our adventure. The most popular ideas will decide the choices our heroes make among the multiple choices available in the game. Lamps go out all the time. They run out of oil or otherwise malfunction. Extinguishing this lamp shouldn't raise any suspicion. It's convenient that the door you're about to pick is at the end of the hall. Taking out this one lamp will provide plenty of shadow. You lick your fingers, reach up, and quench the flames as you have practiced many times. It almost burns you, but not quite. Feeling better now that you enjoy a little cover of shadow, you put your ear up to the door. Nothing from within, but there is a thumping from somewhere else. You straighten up in time to see a heavily built man with a rotund, a rotund belly emerge into the hallway with a woman on his arm. You don't recognize the man, but the woman is the young prostitute you spotted earlier. She has fixed her hair since you last saw her, and it is now in a tight bun, exposing her lovely neck. They haven't noticed you yet. You consider staggering out into the open as though leaving one of the rooms, but decide it would be better not to be seen at all. You freeze in place, and when the pair turn to each other, you step silently back further into the darkness and then freeze again. They stop about halfway down the hall and the man fumbles for a key. There is some laughing and then they disappear into the room. The door slams. You let out your breath and go back to the door. You listen again. Not hearing anything, you pull out your picks and get to work. The lock turns out to be more difficult than you expected and not being able to see well does not help matters. Again, you have to pin yourself to the wall as another soldier, this time with two women, lumbers into one of the rooms. How much did the Duke pay these men, you wonder? On your third session of working the lock, it finally clicks. You open the door a crack. The light is dim inside, with only a low fire burning on the hearth. Not seeing anyone, you quickly turn inside and quietly shut the door. This room is at least double the size of Kriya's room, and the furniture is of higher quality. The bed is large enough for two people to comfortably sleep. The bed is made, at the foot of the bed is a pile of chainmail, glinting dull red in the firelight. The chainmail is valuable, but would certainly be dangerous to sell. You put it out of your mind. You find what you're looking for on a long table near the barred window. Coins! Silver and copper, mostly, but there are a few gold, too. If he, had, if he has had prostitutes up here, he certainly is not worried about them stealing from him. Of course, no one in their right mind would steal from the captain of the guard. You soup up all the coins. There is at least eight gold coins worth here. Guys, I hope none of the girls get the blame, you think. There are a few crumpled pieces of parchment on the table as though he had emptied out his pockets. You pick up one and read it. Corner of King Mary is scrawled on it. An address. The writing gives you an idea. You could leave a note, perhaps scrawled something on the table with some charcoal from the fireplace. That might save the prostitutes from suspicion since their profession is not known for their literacy. But that's leaving evidence behind. You can nearly hear your dead father's voice in your mind, reminding you of how you were dropped on your head by your mother, a claim your mother always denied. Another option is leaving some of the coins, perhaps a third of them. If the captain is drunk enough, he may not realize he was robbed at all. Finally, you could just take it all and let come what will. What do you do? Do you leave a note? leave some coins or take it all we're a rogue we're gonna take it all you're going to do what you always do take it all you walk back to the door leading out to the hall and listen footsteps approaching a voice too properly taken care of you can't be sure since you've only heard the captain speak once but you think the voice belongs to him you run over to the far side of the room opposite the door although there are no good hiding spots in the room. The bed frame, for instance, is only a few inches off the ground. However, there are many shadows on this side of the room, and you are good at hiding in shadows. It appears you could hide effectively in the corner. From there, you could also see what's going on and act if you need to. Another option is to go for the window, since it is nearby. Finally, you could run back across the room and pin yourself to the wall as the door opens inward. Hopefully, the door will conceal you while it's open. With the rasping sound of a key going into the lock, what do you do? Folks, make your choice. Do you try to escape through the window? Do you hide behind the door? 
or do you hide in the shadows? You decide.